WWE plans for a returning team have been revealed. Plus, a released WWE star makes a shock indie appearance and an ex-WWE star has shared some major 2024 plans. It's all in your Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. So I think whenever you and and I have spoke about this particular team, it's with the same energy that... I think a lot of my generation would have talked about the release date of Half-Life 3. Let's talk about the authors of Pain, shall we? So they've apparently been signed to the WWE for a year and a half and they've popped into the Performance Center. No creative has been put out for them as far as we know. And we're just sort of waiting to see when they turn up. Fightful Select gives us another update on that and says that the authors of Pain are planned for a WWE TV return soon. Still no exact date, but soon. We do have more details though. Specifically, we are told the working plan for them as of now is for them to appear on the SmackDown brand. So they will be working Friday nights in blue. Uh, that could always change though. Those that we spoke to, and this is the important part, this is the bit I was worried about, feel a little bit more reassured by, those that we spoke to said that Paul Ellering has been expected to join the two, which had long been an important factor for them, which suggests that it's something that Acom and Razor had been pushing to make happen as well. And you know what? That we've all been pushing to make that happen. Paul Ellering as part of AOP just makes sense. We saw Drake Maverick do some stuff with AOP and he did a grand job at it. Brum is representing AOP, all right, Bab? But it's not the same without Paul Ellering a key part of that machine. So what? So the update on this one is that it looks like Friday night is going to be the, uh, the place to catch AOP, and it looks as if Paul Ellering is going to be with them. Now, when this news started filtering through the, the busy, buzzy world of social media, there was a few bits of fantasy booking that caught my eye. And the one I like the sound of is AOP and Paul Ellering joining up with Karrion Cross and Scarlet. Now, I know... Carrie and Cross and Scarlet are going through a bit of a rejig at the moment with vignettes and such, and you know, Lord knows they could do with a little, a little emotional, metaphorical kick up the backside to get Carrie and Cross and Scarlet as an act where it needs to be. Why not put them with the AOP and Paul Ellering? All in that, that's like a, a sort of post-apocalyptic walking Armageddon type group. I'm into that. I like that a lot. That that goes right up. My flagpole, that is. I'm saluting that. I'm into that a lot. We'll obviously see how it all pans out. But yeah, they've been on the books for a year and a half now, and it looks as if we're now closer than ever to seeing AOP back on our TV for WWE. Uh, speaking of tag teams uh, that are sticking around, the Rascals are staying with TNA Wrestling. In, uh, in what's been a busy couple of weeks where Impact Wrestling has been announcing re-signings to TNA contracts with some of its key talent, uh, which includes guys like Eddie Edwards, Brian Myers. Now we can add Trey Miguel and Zachary Wentz to that list as well. They've both been re-signed and they are sticking around as part of TNA next year. Also, they are joined by some new faces, including Leon Slater, who signed with them last year, or signed with them earlier this year, a few months ago, wasn't it? Oh, I can't, is it weird how I defaulted to saying last year? Not even out of December yet. Time is a construct of human perception, to be fair. Uh, also, Kushida, Danny Luna from Subculture and Trent Seven all being signed to deals, uh, as well as Jay Chung being announced as the new ring announcer for TNA Wrestling, which is a fantastic choice. Really excited to hear Jane's dulcet tones uh, on the U on the Impact and TNA Wrestling in the TNA Wrestling ring in 2024. Um, also, as well as all of that, Scott Damore has hyped the debut of what they are calling one of the biggest signings in company history. And that'll take place at TNA Hard to Kill. Lots of guesswork on who this could be. And we're not too far away from finding out when the night that Impact Wrestling becomes TNA once again. Chances are we're going to find out there and then. And uh, 
I'm all for it. We'll do live reactions for that when I want to watch that live with you. But from looking ahead, let's take a moment looking back, as we have done throughout Doc Sember. WWE's Golden Age Part 4 lands on Christmas Eve. This has been, I would say, one of the best documentaries that Cultaholic has ever put out. I'd also, and it sounds biased, I'd say it's very likely, if not the best wrestling documentary on the internet. Oh, I've said it. Yeah, I said it. Come at me, bro, slash sis. Come at me. Um, it's at, The first three parts are waiting for you now if you haven't watched them yet. It is a deep, 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 deep dive into the biggest era of professional wrestling, uh, covering the the journey that WWF went WWE went on from from the from capital years to WWF to WWF Rock and Wrestling Hulkamania, all in between, and we wrap it up with our fourth and final part on Christmas Eve, premiering at 7 p.m. GMT. Nothing but love to Justin Henry, Matthew Stewart, and Sam Driver, who have worked tirelessly on this incredible bit of business. And you can check out the final part on this YouTube channel on Sunday. Christmas Eve viewing for you. It's that or jingle all the way. I'd go with ours. Just saying, again, I'd be biased. Now, you're going to notice over the next few days that former WWE stars are getting very excited about 2024 because the no compete clause has expired on the contracts of those wrestlers that were released a few months back. We've seen Shelton Benjamin put out a video uh, where he, I believe he likens himself to Godzilla and rightly so. Ain't no stopping Godzilla now. Uh, we've also seen uh, we've also seen one particular star set out their entire first first part of 2024, and we'll get to that in a second. But it was last night at GCW's Christmas holiday special where we saw a masked man attack Joey Janela. That mask came off to reveal AJ Francis, a.k.a. Top Dollar. Dollar back on the scene, and it looks as if there's something long-term in place between him and GCW, specifically with Joey Janela going forward. Top Dollar has not rested on his laurels. AJ Francis has been incredibly busy. Uh, he does a lot of work in communities. He's been, uh, he's raised so much money and given so much support for canned food drives uh, across where he lives. He's such a superstar for that. And he's tirelessly making music videos and music as well. Real passion for it there. And uh, now, he's, now he's thrown himself back into the wrestling world as well. So excited to see what AJ Francis does on the indie scene. As I am also excited to see what is next for Mustafa Ali. Ali was counting down the minutes practically until he got his no compete clause uh, done and dusted. And almost the moment that he was a free agent once again, uh, a litany of dates was announced that features Mustafa Ali. So let's take a whistle stop tour, shall we, of Mustafa Ali's independent world tour. He's going to be a GCW no compadre in Chicago facing Gringo Loco. Uh, that's all oh, they're gonna have some fun together those two up for that he's also announced a tour of canada he's going to take in demand lucha on january the 18th c4 on january the 19th and nspw on the 20th he's also been announced for progress wrestling's the light of the dragon and no match announced for it yet but he's certainly going to be in the mix making his progress wrestling debut he's also been announced for defy wrestling on february the 9th dreamwave wrestling on february the 10th and rev pro on February the 18th, where he is going to face Robbie X. Robbie X is a phenom, for lack of a better term. And I think those two are going to make some magic together as well. Uh, this is the one I'm buzzing for, though. They're all great. But this one I'm buzzing for. February 25th, Prestige Wrestling in LA. Mustafa Ali versus Speedball Mike Bailey. Ah, oh, shoot that right into my veins. Thank you very much. Uh, he's taking bookings worldwide now, is Mustafa Ali. He is absolutely not letting the grass grow beneath his feet now that he's out on the independent circuit. Uh, we'll have more wrestling news for you throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.